Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through multi-staged graph of forward approach algorithm as well as backward approach algorithm we'll be discussing in this lecture guys. So till now we discussed how it is solved guys, how you can solve it in your examination or how it is going to solve originally. So that is what we will be discussing in terms of algorithm now. So the same process. So the thing that you should remember is that this formula which I have told you at the end of the first lecture. So cost of i comma j is equals to minimum of cost of j comma m plus cost of i plus 1 comma m. Okay, so where you will be assuming these were, this is the formula that you will be using here also guys. So in the both the algorithms you will be using the almost the same formula, the same format only with two or two to three changes. That's it. Okay, so let us first go through forward then we will be going to the backward approach. Okay, so first I will be revising the forward approach what we are doing there. Okay. So in forward approach, you will start from end and you will be computing stage by stage each and every vertices cost. After that, you will be starting from here and you will be going through the path which you have selected previously. Okay. So at the end, you will be sprinting the cost. So these are the three steps you can say. Step one is to visit all the vertices in the backward direction like stage by stage. Step two, you will be uh, in step step one only you will be doing both guys you will be computing the cost at each vertices while going back only only two steps and in step two you will be moving forward like where to go like the exact path from one to two okay so let us now go through the algorithm so forward approach of multi-stage graph g comma k comma n comma p where g is nothing but the graph k is nothing but the number of stages n be the number of vertices or the set of vertices p be the path okay so that's what i have written here so G of V comma E is a directed K stage graph with the N vertices. C of I comma J is the cost of the each vertex I comma J. Remember previously in our method we wrote CST off, CST off, right? Small CST. Okay. Is the cost of each vertex I comma J and P of I comma K is the minimum cost path. So in P is an array in which you are storing the cost minimum path sorry it's not cost you are storing the minimum path how you are going okay so basically initially you will be starting with initializing the cost of k comma n that is nothing but the last element if you recall it we initially started the, with the same thing only okay just give me a second at 12 we initiated the value as 0 if you remember here i can show you here also cost of a stage 5 comma 12 that is nothing but the last vertex with the last stage we initiated it with 0. So that's what we are doing again here also. And we are initiating the distance with n. The same 12 will be written at that position. Distance also. That d. Okay. The path or distance whatever you might be calling it. Okay. So after that you will be doing a particular process from the last node to the first node. That's what I have told you. Right. You will be doing one step. This is the step 1. You will be calculating the cost of each and every node. And you will be storing in this array. Cost. C-O-S-T. Okay, I hope I hope everyone got some clear idea. So now from j equal to n minus 1 to 1 do compute the cost of i comma j. Okay, so this is what we are doing here. Let r be a vertex such that edge of j comma r is an edge of g and c of I com j comma r. So this is saying nothing but the path guys. So previously we discussed how is the path. So if you are doing for 6, 6 to 9 you want to calculate. So initially you will be finding for, from 6 to 9, then you will be ca you will be adding with the cost of 9. So that's what it is happening here also. Okay, in the algorithm that's the step that is that we will be doing again and again. So C of J comma R is nothing but the two vertices. So cost of 9 comma 12. Whereas this is nothing but with respect to stage comma node. Okay, so then we will be doing this operation. Cost of i comma j is equals to cost of j r plus cost of i plus 1 plus r. So this is what I have just written here. So then we will be updating the updating the path d of j is equals to r. So now this is what computation is done for each and every vertex. Okay, so once computation is done, you will be initializing p of 1 to 1 and p of k equal to n. So if you remember, this is where the forward approach comes into play. So basically, if you just recall, we did this. So d of 1 comma 1 equal to 2, d of 2 comma 2 equal to 7, d of 3 comma 7 equal to 10, d of 4 comma 10 equal to 2. So if you observe these are what we are getting as per the stages. So 12 we got finally. Okay. So that is what we are getting in terms of stages. So that's what we are doing it again here. 
so for of j equal to 2 to k minus 1 do p of j equal to d of p of j so indirectly we are getting the again value again we will be going for next we will be getting one more one more one more this is the cycle you will be continuing until the end so indirectly if you print what is inside p pj you will be getting the exact path from 1 you will be going to 2 from 2 you will be going to 4 from 4 you will be going to 7 from 7 you will be going to 12 we got the result in that way so these are nothing but per stage you will be having one answer basically if it is a k staged graph you will be having k elements here okay so i hope everyone got a clear idea on forward approach guys if you are confused anywhere in between just to take an example and try to trace it guys it might take some time to understand but once you get the idea you will never forget these kind of algorithms because these are really easy to understand and just if you get the logic once you can do it okay so now let us go through the backward approach so the backward approach also has the same process only the change is here you'll be applying previously you we used to come from back to forward so now you are going from forward to backward right so that is the reason why the opposite will be there so initially you will be you will be starting with cost of 1 comma 1 you are starting from first right so we can directly initiate 1 comma 1 to 0 okay and d of i sorry d of 1 is al also equal to 1 okay for of j equal to 2 to n so previously here we did from back to first here we will be calculating from first to last and you will be calculating the cost of each and every vertex using this formula and you will be substituting the distance vector or whatever you might be calling it guys the points via which it came and after that you will be trying to calculate the minimum cost using our same approach which we used previously so in both the cases the time complexity if you ask it depends completely on v comma e where v is the number of vertices and e becomes the edges so as if these two loops are running multiple times we cannot say that it could depend completely on vertices or it could depend completely on edges so that is the reason why the time complexity of both multi-staged graph is big O of V plus E. It completely depends on the number of vertices and edges. So I hope everyone got some idea at least. I did not explain, to explain in a perfect way. I, I even know that. So I explained to my level best. Okay. So basically you are just computing the formulas guys. That's it. These are the two steps. And this, this is the single step that is doing the things. So this is step one and step two. That's it. So I hope everyone got a clear idea on this. So in the next lecture, we will be continuing with the all pair shortest path. So let us meet in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.